Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? Today we're in Cancun and we're picking up our resort tour series here at the Rio Hotels. And today we're gonna take a tour through the Rio Palace Las Americas. So we're standing out front of the hotel right now. I love the gardens here. I really love the architecture and the decor of this hotel. It's very traditional palace-like. Uh, once we get inside the lobby, you'll see very traditional kind of furniture and decoration. And I really like that. So um, we'll, go out, we'll go inside in just a second. I just want to point out a couple things here. So I'm standing on the, um, just near the road here. This is Ryu Cancun, which you do have access to as well if you stay at Las Americas. And this is a good spot if you're looking for like a good nightclub or kind of party scene. If you keep following the sidewalk around, this is going to lead you into downtown Cancun with all the nightclubs and bars and shops down there. Definitely worth a trip down there to check it out. And then there's some uh, little shops and things just across the street here. Circle K, there's like a convenience store and things like that too. So it's very centrally located, which I like about this hotel. If you do go down this way, it'd be a very long walk. If you wanted, you can catch the bus or a cab to go to Rio Palace Peninsula and Rio Caribe, which you do have access to as well down there. All right, so heading inside now, we're just walking up the driveway that your resort or excuse me, your airport transportation will drop you off here at the front of the hotel here in this little concourse area. Just letting you know too that this hotel is adults only. So if you're uh, looking for an adults only trip, this might be the place for you. So we'll head inside here and uh, check out the main lobby area. We're also gonna check out all the restaurants and the uh, pools and beach area too. So as you enter the main lobby, it is fully sealed in and fully air conditioned, so that's really nice. And as you come in the main lobby, you can uh, find a bellman who will help you with your luggage. And then uh, if you look over this way, so you can drop your luggage off just here, and if you look over this way, this is where the front desk is going to be located. All right, so before we check out the front desk area, I will point out that there is a customer service representative just here to help you answer any questions you may have about the hotel. And then also there's an information board right here too that'll give you some information about all the ins and outs of the hotel. But yeah, so you can see like different things that are happening out on the pool deck and then the um, nightly offerings as well. You can see some different things. This is a touch screen so you can kind of navigate it as you wish and see if there's anything that uh, might interest you here. So you can see all different like water sports that might be offered. Some are all inclusive and some are additional charges, things like that. So yeah, lots of good information here at this touch screen. So just taking a little closer look at the lobby, you can see this very traditional look, the, the traditional woods. There's some really nice like chandeliers and very ornate kind of decor on the ceilings. I love this stained glass kind of um, window that lets in some light, not too much, but um, definitely a lot of light let in by the big windows here at the back of the lobby. So just to wayfind here a little bit before we move on, Again, the front desk is here. If we go on further, this is the uh, elevators that are gonna be to the rest of the hotel. And then uh, just over here is the uh, lobby bar, and then further along will be the, um, oh, sorry, just inside or outside. That's where the theater is going to be. If we turn over this way, this is where we can find cappuccino, like our coffee bar, and then uh, elevators up to the main part of the hotel. And if we, look out this door right here this is going to lead us to our pools and the beaches and also the a la carte restaurants it's hard to get the lighting right in this hotel just because of so much natural light coming in here but this is we'll go out here in just a short while so we did this tour we did a tour of this hotel um, about three or four years ago is one of the first ones we actually put up on our channel so if you've seen that um, resort tour thank you for watching and we're just going to update things a little bit here so as you can see there's lots of seating scattered around the lobby Again, as I said, very traditional style uh, furniture and de decor in the lobby. If we turn over this way, there are a couple things I think that are, have been updated. I think just some of the like art on the walls and things like that have been just updated a little bit and some of the like uh, lighting and things like that. If I think I'm saying that correctly, I don't remember some of this from last time. So some of it has just been updated, updated just a little bit. Here's a good shot of the lobby without that kind of backlighting here. You get a sense of the uh, different colors and art in here. So one thing I'll point out to you too is the Ryu Hotels app that you can download on your phone and even get started planning your trip before you arrive. So this QR code will help you download the app. 
and it'll help you with things like um, bars and restaurant menus, um, different timings when things are open, information on the facilities, uh, so you can start planning your trip before you arrive. So coming over this way, this is uh, Lounge 24. This is the 24 hour um, food offering and kind of lounge that you can hang out at. So there's a small little business center here too if you wanted to access anything from your email or on the internet while you're here. There's some food offerings here as well. So we've got some buns and things like that. We've got some small little bite-sized offerings like there's some guacamole and pico de gallo, some grab-and-go sandwiches. We've got some hot dogs and hamburgers, um, chili. We've got some nachos and cheese. And we've got some pizzas here to choose from. Also, there is a, um, a alcohol dispenser that you can come grab alcohol at your leisure here. We've got like a rum, a gin, um, a tequila, and a vodka. There's some coffee here that you can get, um, self-serve, or they will help you with it if you need. And then finally some soft drinks and some beer. But I like this, this is really nice. They got like some big windows letting natural light in. I really like the color scheme in here too, like these blues on soft wood color. Really liking that. And actually I didn't notice this last time we were here. So there's a, uh, a small patio here. This is like a smoking uh, area here. So if we go out here and just check that out, there's no one out here right now, but it's kind of a nice little place to hang out here. You get uh, views of the, uh, the front of the hotel here. There's some seating out here too. Um, and it, this is a designated smoking area too. So if you're not a smoker, this might not be the best place to come. I just wanted to point out too, over here, this is the uh, Maya Fair, um, kind of like a flea market and like restaurants and things like that. So it's pretty close by the hotel too. And then just outside Lounge 24, over to this, the uh, right side or coming out and going left, this is where the first set of elevators are located to the left side of the hotel. And then just behind them are um, washrooms too to use. So that would probably be the closest washrooms if you were coming in from the airport in the lobby just there. But if we come out of Lounge 24 and turn this way, all the way around over here, this is gonna lead us to Art Deco. And this is a totally different vibe in here. We've got very traditional dark colored woods here on the wall. Um, even some of the decor, the seats have turned into a more of a darker color, the tables as well. We've got some cool statues and art decorating everything here. So this is Art Deco and this is the lobby bar. There's a full service bar. I'll show you the uh, barcode that you can use to scan to find the, the bar menu. So if you give that a scan, you can take a look at the different cocktails, wine, beer, spirits, martinis that they can make up for you here at Art Deco, the bar. And then there is also another set of doors here. This is like really, really nice. I love like this art on the doors here. I've been talking a lot about art here because everything just looks so ornate in this hotel. It's really impressive. Like look at this archway and this doorway here. But this leads to La Nuit and La Nuit is the theater. So I'm thinking this opens up at nighttime to kind of create a bit of a throughway for traffic. So we'll go check out La Nuit in just a few minutes. Okay, so back at the front entrance, this is the main uh, reception desk or the front desk. We've toured around this area over here. We're gonna go this way now. This is the doorway out to the pools, beaches, and the restaurants. We'll go through there in just a few minutes. But if we turn over this way, this is gonna lead us to uh, another set of elevators and then a small little coffee bar and lounge just over here. So if you look over this way, this is Cappuccino. Cappuccino is the coffee bar here. You can pick up any little pastries, croissants, um, danishes, turnovers, cinnamon rolls. There's even some sandwiches and things like that just here. Lots of little things to uh, grab and go. So once you've got your coffee or pastry from cappuccino, and I think these are some of the things I was saying before that have been changed since last time. And uh, same thing with this art piece here, but maybe we can look back at our old video and take a look to see what it was before. Um, but if you, once you grab your coffee and sweets from over here, you can um, come over to this area and it's like a little bit more of a modern vibe over here now. You can see the colors are a bit more tradition or a bit more contemporary. And then um, up on the wall here, I, again, I think these two art pieces have changed since we've last been here just to kind of um, modernize things a little bit in this area, but still got some traditional decor over here on the wall here. But yeah, you can grab a spot here and enjoy your coffee before you head out for the day. So um, out from this little coffee lounge here, this is the uh, first a la carte restaurant that we're going to be seeing. This is the Italian restaurant. 
And um, I'm seeing right now that it's actually open for a lunch buffet as well. So if you prefer a little bit more of a quiet atmosphere, not many people come in here for lunchtime, but they do have like some offerings like pizzas and cold salads and a few different hot items as well inside the uh, lunch buffet here too. And some fruits as well, I just saw on the back. So this is um, Los Arcos, and um, there is a full menu for the a la carte, a la carte um, restaurant, which has two different seatings, one at five o'clock and one at, uh, looks like, am I seeing, yeah, sorry, I just want to show you here. It says first seating is at 5 o'clock and the second seating is at 10 o'clock. That seems rather late for uh, Italian a la carte, but... So here's the menu offered here at the Italian restaurant. There we go. So that's Los Arcos, the Italian restaurant here. And we'll see a few more a la carte restaurants as we go outside. And then one more thing to mention too is the elevators for the right side of the hotel are located here. All right, so we're gonna take a trip outside here now and show you all the different pools and uh, beaches and restaurants that are offered out here. This is probably one of my favorite views here in uh, the Rio hotels. As soon as you come out this door here, you have this gorgeous walkway down to this, it looks like a fountain, but it's actually a pool. And they have like an infinity edge here too that looks like it goes right out into the ocean. And these two uh, pergolas here, or gazebos, it is beautiful here. And then all that kind of art and beauty kind of continues on this way. And you can see the right side of the hotel over here. And then if you look over this way, you can see the left side of the hotel. So now that we're pointing over this way, this would be Art Deco, the bar over here. And if we continue along, this is the theater. And then there's a uh, quiet pool down over that way we're gonna go check out later. And if we look over this way, the walkway outside of the lobby and to the right will lead us down to the buffet and a la carte restaurants all along this side here. And then we're also gonna look at, um, again, a closer look at the pools, this quiet pool here, and the more activity pool located in the back just over there. So first things first, let's go check out the food options over here. So if we walk along here, I love these like railings here that gives more of a palace-like vibe to the hotel. And then we've got some more like modern seating over here. So quite a mixture of modern and traditional palace-like decor in here. So if we come around this way, this is where our second a la carte restaurant is going to be. This is Cristal. Cristal kind of um, is kind of a gourmet restaurant. And I uh, just want to take a look at the menu because we did visit gourmet at the Rio Palace Peninsula. And it does look like it's the exact same menu. We did notice that we visited some of these a la carte restaurants before, a few years ago. They were a little bit better than what we're noticing now. Um, but yeah, some of, the, some of the quality has gone a little bit down um, at the Ryu hotels here in terms of the a la carte, but you can still find a lot of good food. Um, we just noticed that it was definitely a lot, lot better uh, in, in previous. So just wanted to let you know our honest opinion on that. And if we continue on the way here, this is going to be our third a la carte restaurant. This is Fiesta Mexicana. That's obviously our Mexican restaurant. And I will show you the menu for the Mexican restaurant. So here's the Mexican restaurant here. And again, you can just pause the screen at any of these spaces to get a closer look at the menus. If we turn over this way, we've got an, our next a la carte restaurant. This is the Steakhouse called Black and White. And I'll show you why it's called Black and White because the uh, decor in here is very modern and everything is black and white. You can see these tiles here, the tables and chairs, all the way down here. Even these vases are checkered pattern with black and white all the way through to the end just over here where the servery is just there. And then I'll show you the menu here at the Steakhouse. So again, moving along down the hallway here, we've got our final a la carte restaurant. This one's called Sakura. And Sakura is our Asian inspired restaurant here. And I'll show you the menu here at Sakura. So, so far we've been to Sakura, been to a couple a la cartes as well. This has been our favorite so far. We got the tuna, 
Um, seared tuna with sesame and pistachio served with yakimeshi rice and it was really good. And so was the, uh, um, the dumplings that you get at the beginning of the course as well, or the beginning of the dinner as well. So that does it for the a la carte restaurants here. Here's the sign for black and white, uh, very fittingly black and white. And it continues along all the way down this way. But if we turn over this way, this is Don Roberto, and Don Roberto is the buffet here for breakfast and dinner time. And also they serve lunch as well, but they don't serve in the dining room here. You can uh, find a spot over on the um, terrace over here and find some um, and find some food inside the buffet for uh, lunch just on the terrace. We'll go take a look at that in just a second. But I will point out the um, but I will point out the um, different times for breakfast. And then we have lunch and uh, dinner time here. And then also I'll point out the different hours for the bars. So Art Deco in the lobby, the um, Aquatico pool bar, La Terrazza, Cappuccino, and Lounge 24. So continuing down the hallway here, we have uh, a couple things to mention. This is just Don Roberto on the side here, the buffet. And then we have um, the terrace seating here. It's actually called El Romero. El Romero is the terrace seating. And I'll just give you a sh short little shot of what it looks like just over here. So it's not too big. It kind of just wraps around a bit of a semicircle. And it's uh, quite nice here. There's a nice breeze coming off the ocean and you can see the ocean just over here as well. So it's quite nice. So before we move on, I'll just let you know that we did do buffet tours showing you all the food offerings for uh, breakfast and dinner time. And we'll put those up in a separate video on our channel that you can watch to see the different food um, at the different buffets. As we uh, turn over this way, so this is a uh, staircase that can lead down to the pool area. And then there's a second staircase that leads up to something they call a solarium, which we're which is where we're gonna go right now. And we'll go down here and check out um, a couple offerings down here. So let's go upstairs and check out the solarium. And we're gonna get some great views from up here on this elevated uh, terrace up here. So here's the first set of views here, looking out over the beach here. Quite beautiful. There's lots of seating and shade offered just over here with the palm trees and these uh, pergolas. And then over here we can see the gazebos. Oh, one thing to mention as well is just down here is that's where the pool uh, towel hut is that you can exchange your cards for towels. And when you're ready to head back to your room, you can grab your cards again and exchange your, uh, your wet towels so you don't have to take them up to your room. So that's where it's located here. And uh, here's a better shot of the infinity pool and the main lobby that we came out of just right here. So that's a really nice shot there. And then the ocean just here too. It's so crystal clear now and there is no seaweed at all at this time of year. We're here in February, so yeah, it looks really, really nice right now. So we're gonna continue up the uh, stairs here to another level on the solarium. So this is gonna give us a better view of the uh, pools and a really nice panoramic view of the ocean as well. So I'm not too sure what actually happens up here. I don't know if maybe this might be overflow when the hotel gets really busy. Here's a nice shot of the hotel right here. Oh, look at the sun coming over there too. The other thing I can think of is maybe they just do events up here too. So if you had like a conference and wanted to like use this space for tables and gathering and a gathering, that might be another spot for, or another purpose for this spot here too. Otherwise, if you come up here, there's nobody here right now. You can get some really good views of the pools and the beach and the ocean, which I'm about to show you right here. So looking down below us here, I'll just give you a bit of a view. This is the main pool area or the activity pool. And then we have two bars here. We have one over here, which is a walk up. And then we have one over here, which is a uh, swim up bar. And it's kind of fun because uh, the pool bars are called Can, and then over here it's called Coon. So we've got Cancun, the two pool bars here in this activity pool. So we've got lots of beach chairs here. We've even got some like loungers in the pool here. I love the like tiling in the pool too. It looks really quite nice from up here. And then uh, they've got music going. They had water aerobics going a little bit earlier on too. They'll do some games in the pool here in the afternoon. And this is just a really great place to hang out. There is another infinity edge just here, but we're definitely not getting that infinity edge vibe because we're looking at it from above here. And they've got a uh, jacuzzi here too, but I don't think this jacuzzi is any warmer than the pool water because it joins right in with it. Lots of umbrellas here you can grab. There's even some shade from a few palm trees as well, but all in all, a pretty good time here at this pool if you're looking for a little bit of activity. 
And if you're looking for a bit more quiet, the other two pools are gonna provide that for you too. So just sort of like pointing out one thing as well is that the beach only really goes to where these little sailboats are here. And then it, the beach for Ryu Cancun begins just over there. So we did a full hotel tour for Ryu Cancun as well if you wanted to compare and take a look at what's offered at Ryu Cancun. So now what we're gonna, oh, one more thing I wanna point out before we head back is uh, from the solarium over here, this is gonna give us a, a little bit of a shot of the quiet pool. And I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit on it because it's kind of hard to see. But if we walk all the way past the theater, which we're gonna do in a little while, this is the small quiet pool just over here. So we'll go over there to show you what the energy is like over there, especially if you're looking for a bit more of a relaxing uh, atmosphere. And then just in front of all of that, this is another area of beach that wraps around and it all connects in together here too. This is a really beautiful swimming area. The waves are so light right here right now. So if you're uh, looking for like nice shallow, very gentle water, this little lagoon is perfect for you. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, oh, we're gonna go actually down the stairs here and check out the spa and gym. And then we'll head back to uh, that main entrance door to the lobby and head around to the other side of the hotel. All right, so I just came back down the stairs from the solarium. We're back at El Romero. And uh, we're gonna turn this way, head down the stairs here. And this is gonna lead us to the washrooms and the spa and the gym. So if I just turn this way, you can see that the um, washrooms and the spa and gym are located down here. So they're kind of hidden down here if you don't know where they are. That's why you watch our tours, so you know exactly where things are when you're coming to the resorts. So this is where the washrooms are located, just here. And then we have the gym and spa located right here. So the gym is open from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. And the spa is open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So I'm going to go inside and see if I can get a shot of the gym, but I don't want to disturb anyone if they're uh, doing their workouts. All right, so I'm in the spa here. So the gym is located just here beside the front desk. And then um, just beyond here is the jacuzzi that all the all-inclusive guests can use free of charge. So there are change rooms just here and here for women and, and then men. So you just have to go through here and um, let's see if there's, I just wanna make sure there's no people in before I start filming, so. All right, so I'm in the jacuzzi. This is a, uh, like a shared space with men and women. But um, yeah, as you can see, here's the jacuzzi here. There's nobody in here right now. It is a little bit loud from, this is the activity pool just right here and the Cancun bars. But um, yeah, there's some, lawn, or some loungers right here. There's some cool like artwork here, like Venetian style. Same thing with just here and here. Here's another jacuzzi as well. I'm gonna get a sense of the water temperatures. Oh yeah, this is like really nice and warm. So it's like a pretty, pretty good hot tub. Oh, this one's cold actually. So you can almost do like a bit of a contrast bath if you'd like as well. It's not like ice water, but it is like more um, like room temperature water compared to this hot tub over here. As you can hear, they're doing some games up there, but this is a pretty cool place to come. I don't know if many people really know about this because it's kind of attached to the spa. So I'm imagining a lot of people think that this is like a little off limits, let's say, or you have to pay for it. But this is uh, free of charge, like part of your all-inclusive package. So if you want to take advantage of like a little hidden gem here, I bet you in the morning, this is like really, really peaceful and very quiet. And then I'm just in the change room here. Um, so there's nobody in here. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. There's lockers here to put your things and you can lock it with a key that you can get at the front desk. There also is showers and a sauna here too, which is like a really cool thing. So this is really neat. I don't know if many people know about this, but um, there's some pretty cool amenities in here. And uh, maybe a cool place to come before you head to the airport because there's showers. You can put your belongings here and change and get ready to go to the airport and be nice and relaxed before you head out for the day. So just want to get a look inside the sauna here. Oh yeah, it's pretty big in here too. Oh yeah, it's really warm. This is quite nice. If you're into saunas, there's a sauna here at Ryu Palace Las Americas. I did not know that. <laughs> and then just outside the men's change room, which is behind me, um, just over this way to the left is the gym. I'll see if I can get a shot of that. So here's the gym here. We've got quite a few different uh, machines to do different exercises on. We've even got some cardio machines over here too and some treadmills. And then it is kind of open to a pathway up here. And then over here, there's a uh, like a weight station with dumbbells and some benches if you wanted to do some exercises over here. And then they do have a, uh, a water station here as well if you want to grab some water 
while you're here and you can grab a um, towel here from the front desk before you uh, come into your workout. So yeah, lots of opportunity for a great workout here in this gym. So now outside uh, the salon or the gym and spa, turning over this way, these would be the stairs to get back up to the main level. But I also wanted to point out too that they do have an accessibility ramp to get down to the gym and spa area. And uh, there is an entrance up here, which I'll show you in just a second. So then back upstairs here with the staircase behind me, this is the pool hut or the pool towel hut. And then just to the left here, right around the corner, this is the access to the uh, accessibility ramp. And there's another ramp just here to get from the main area or the main pool area down to this area. So lots of uh, ramps and things to get down into uh, some of the other areas of the hotel, which is nice to see. All right, so we just toured all of this area over here, came back down the walkway, and now we're standing in front of the doors that lead back into the lobby or out into this infinity pool. So I'll just mention a couple things about this pool. It is very quiet, although in the background I can hear the activity happening from over there, but it is pretty quiet, to be honest. So it is pretty relaxing over in this pool. There are some pergolas over here that provide, a, I would say, a light to moderate amount of shade, but it's definitely not full shade depending on where the sun is at the moment. And there are some umbrellas scattered around the pool as well to provide some shade from the sun. And then we have the same sort of thing over here as well. But I really like this pool. I like this, these fountains here, the nice artwork there. And then these gazebos are really nice for taking pictures in too. I am noticing too, just underneath the um, pergolas, there actually is like full day beds, as you can see, just here and here, all along this way, to totally relax on, maybe have a nice little nap. But I'm imagining these go quite quickly in the morning um, as people come and take their spots for the day. So now we're gonna turn back towards the lobby now. And uh, we went this way to look at the restaurants. We're gonna go over this way now and we're gonna check out the theater and the final pool and finally then we'll end up on the beach there. So yeah, you can even see in the, in the grounds here, the gardens are beautiful. There's nice fountains too. Everything is like just steps away from your room in the lobby, all kind of in here. So if you don't like to walk too much, everything is very, very closely kept together here at Rio, Rio Palace Las Americas. So coming around the corner now, we're gonna meet up to La Nui and La Nui is the main theater here at Rio Palace Las Americas. So it'll do nightly shows with different themes um, all in this theater here. And also this is gonna be where if you came in with a tour operator, this is where your tour operator is going to be located just sitting in this theater area here to help you with anything about your flights or if you're looking for any excursions or things like that, you can meet your uh, tour operator rep just inside the, uh, the theater here. The other thing just further along here is we have La Terraza. La Terraza is the bar here in the theater. It actually is open during the day as well, starting at 10 a.m. and all the way till midnight. And then if we walk in this way, here's the seating for the theater. Lots of seats available, because all the seats are then pointed this way towards the main stage area. And it looks really, really nice. I feel like I don't remember these fireworks last time we were here. I feel like these murals are, are new. But um, yeah, so some little things have changed here, but mostly like the layout and the restaurants and things like that have remained the same. So just a couple like refreshers to keep the hotel looking quite nice. So from the theater, it is open to the outside just over here. The bar is on my right right here. And then as we pass over this way, there is a staircase just over here that will lead you down into the last pool area, which I'll point at here from the uh, terrace area or from the theater area here. So again, this is a pretty quiet area. There isn't many chairs even around here too, probably just to keep it very quiet. There's a tiny little pool just right here, a circular pool. There is an infinity edge on that one too. And then there's some uh, pergola with sunshade seating just here as well. I'm just trying to see here. Totally looks like there's even spots available here. I see two chairs there. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon, I believe. I actually don't know what time it is, but I'm roughly around 1.30. So there's even some spots available here if you'd like to perch up here and find a spot around this quiet pool here. So yeah, this is a really nice relaxing spot to be. Um, and then finally what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go to the beach. We'll show you guys a closer look at the beach and then we'll end the, uh, the video there. So here's the bar area here. Hey, I really like these uh, the pennant lightings here. Hey, look at these guys. <laughs> How's it going? All right, so just coming down from the bar and um, walking down the staircase here, this is gonna lead us down into the, uh, that pergola area, the shade that we saw, the seating areas, and then over to the left, that's gonna lead to that quiet pool. 
over to the right that's going to lead down into the uh, beach area there so i'll just kind of point over here this way i don't think we need to go down there because we saw it already but then uh, we will go this way down over to the beach area all right so um, i walked down a couple staircases over here to get to the area i'm standing in now this is the main entrance back to the lobby and i'm kind of on the other side of the main quiet infinity pool here there is a small little spot to perch up and find a spot here and then um, there is uh, just below me a staircase that leads down to the beach area here yeah i actually think we're probably just gonna end the video here because this is such a great view of the beach area here there's lots of umbrellas here on the beach they're almost like making a full shade um, like a full shaded beach area here because they're all stacked on top of each other but um yeah the beach goes all the way around here you can see a little volleyball net down there and also if we look over this way there's a dock here and then finally uh, another area that kind of wraps around towards ryu cancun over here with similar beach and umbrella seating just that way so yeah this is the lagoon i was talking about before um just in here is a really really amazing spot to swim here there's not many waves at all and there's absolutely zero seagrass right now which is really nice to see so yeah that's uh that's pretty much going to wrap up our tour then just want to point out too this is the solarium we were at before just standing up there getting good views but as we look at the rest of the hotel here we're going to wrap up the video let us know what you think of Rio Palace Las Americas in the comments below we really like it it's adults only uh, it's got some pretty good amenities everything is really compact the beach is absolutely gorgeous i love its proximity to downtown cancun if you wanted to just venture out and have a little bit of a different night as opposed to hanging out at the hotel so yeah really really love las americas here so with that we're going to end the video if you guys found this video helpful give us give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where are we going next?